What's up, YouTube? It's me, it's iPhoneCaptain.com today. We're doing one of the most requested videos I've had in a long time, and it's called What's on My Jailbroken Device. And this is going to be pretty quick and to the point on each one of these tweaks, guys. So if you're wanting for a more in-depth review of these tweaks, be sure and check them out in the description below. I'll link up all of them down there that I have reviews in detail on, so check that out. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button so you don't forget it on your way out. The first one I'm going to be looking at, guys, is probably going to get right out of the way first because you'll be seeing him more than any of the rest of them is the way my device looks. And that's coming through Anemone. Anemone is something like Winterboard, and it most likely has taken the place of Winterboard, some say. Uh, but in Anemone, I have two different themes installed on my device. And that's one thing you're going to notice about me is I don't tend to have a lot of junk on my device. It just slows them down. You've heard me preach this in videos past. Please don't stack a lot of tweaks or themes. It's only going to cause you problems, but that's a different video. Now, Anemone we have, and inside here, the, the theme you see me running now is called A Sierra X, and I also have a different one in there called Milkshake. And we'll turn Anemone off and turn Milkshake on and let you see what it looks like. We'll just hit a preview of this right here. Anemone, I'm sorry, uh, Milkshake is just a much cleaner look and just real flat look, if you will. But I'll go ahead and enable that and let it respring and do its thing. And while we're uh, waiting on that to respring, I'll tell you a little bit, more, little bit more about the tweaks that you don't need to stack. It's very important, guys. It's just going to cause problems. You'll, you will, somewhere down the road, you'll get two that conflict. It may throw you into a boot loop. And if that happens, the only way sometimes that you can fix that is restore. Now, it can be you know, fix 99.9% .9 of the time, but there is that one small percentage of a chance that you could totally lose and have to update completely. Now, as you can see also on the screen there, I have one called uh, Koi Sim, and you saw that pop-up come up, said no Sim installed. That was coming because when my device resprung, it went into safe mode for some reason, I don't know why, but we'll try to restart. But anyway, that that lets you see Koi Sim and how it works. But looks like everything's going to be okay. And this is what Milkshake looks like when you're rocking it from the Anemone. Now, going on, the next one we're going to look at is called Color Icons. And I use this one because I just like to have those uh, little icons themed inside of settings. So if we go to settings, you'll see down the left side here now, I have those little colored icons. Also, if you see this dark theme in here that's coming through Eclipse 4. Now, Eclipse 4 is an, is an awesome theme, and it's a very large theme. You, uh, not a theme, but tweak, and one you definitely want to check out. And it works, sort of goes along with Noctus, and you saw me just turn off Noctus. Now, that's what turns on and off the, the uh, dark mode for Control Center. Now you see down there in the control center, my control center is a light color. Now they sort of work together. Now you see, makes it look much better. Another one, guys, that you're probably going to need if you're jailbreaking a lot now is called iCleaner Pro. When you see that right down there at the bottom, what this does is it removes unnecessary files and just the junk files that some of your themes, tweaks, st stuff like that leave behind language files that you don't really need that slows your device down. All you have to do is tap clean right there. But iCleaner Pro also can also help you save your jailbreak and run, and run tweak diagnostics, if you want to call it that, to see which tweak is causing the problem. You can turn on and off one tweak at a time to determine which one's giving you the issues. And that's something else you can check out in the video's descriptions below. The next one, Filesa, is a file manager, and it goes sort of along with what we were talking about right then. This is just a way to uh, delete files from inside the uh, actual iPhone itself. Do not download Filesa and go in there and start moving stuff around, guys. It's not necessary. Do not do that. You'll just mess your device up. I don't know how many emails I get a week. People that have used Filesa have deleted Cydia, and now they can't find their Cydia icon. Of course you can't find it because you deleted the damn thing. Stop doing that, guys. 
Uh, another one of mine you see here on the screen is called Reform X. That's how I have the really large icons at the bottom. And I'm really enjoying this. I Reform X down here at the bottom will go down here and let you look around the inside of it just a little bit because I really like Reform X. Uh, actually, it puts an icon on your screen. So what I'll do is just search uh, Reform X and you see what the icon looked like there with the big X on it. But in here, you can turn on and off different things for your dock, folders, home screen, miscellaneous. Really big tweak, guys, and I'll have it linked up for you. One I did forget, guys, is a little green bar up there at the top in the status bar. That's coming through battery status bar. Really awesome little tweak. It's just a really cool way to know your status of the battery just by glancing. You can ch change the color to whatever you want it to be. Just a lot of customizations there. Check it out. I think you'll really enjoy uh, it. Another cool one, guys, is type status 2. Type status 2 lets you see when someone is replying back on the other side when you're using iMessage. Now, they also have one called Type, uh, type Status 2 Plus that works when you're using Twitter, Facebook, and those other things. I'll be doing a review on that coming up soon. Another one of my favorites of all time is called Palert. And what this is, it's just a way for your notifications, uh, not notification, but your alerts look much cleaner, much better. I'll take you into Cydia here and show you what it looks like now if we were going to add a source, say, uh, just to give you a brief look. And we hit add now look how much better that looks my all of my uh, alerts look so much better you only get that one faded background blurred out background with that one alert on it it just looks really awesome and they compare this to the uh, alert on the uh, Apple TV I don't I, I don't really have a lot of alerts so I couldn't tell you I do have an Apple TV but no alerts I don't think better shut down now here, if you hold the shut down, the power button, you I'll get a pop up here. Look how clean that looks. Now I have options there to power off, reboot, and respring. Very, very awesome, guys. Check it out. Guys, that's very fast, brief, and to the point. That's it, guys. That's orgasmic. And that's what we're going to refer to this as. Uh, I know iTweaks started that over there. His was sex on the beach. Get on this, iTweaks. This is the orgasm. Guys, hit that thumbs up button, share this on Facebook and Twitter, and keep coming back.